Hello viewers, today we're doing a full restock in the town of Al Ain Al Beda. We need to have at least, we think, four days of food now because there's not going to be a lot of food uh, now on the run up to Petra. We'll show you what we can buy for our hike in the little shops you find in these towns. Um, we'll buy some of the local Shrak flatbread from a bakery, which is a real staple for us. And hopefully we'll even get a bit of takeaway from a restaurant that we can take with us. So yeah, join us. And if you want to just see what's in our bag, um, as in what we pack in our bag food-wise, just head towards the sort of last third of this video. Awesome. Ah, shukran. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. nice. Hello. Coffee. Salam. Hello. Salam. Hello. Hello. Yeah, please. Yeah, coffee. Hello. 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 Shukran. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you want coffee? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, please. Sugar. Uh, sugar. Yes, yes please. please, yes. Oh, sugar. just like a little bit. A little bit? Shui, shui. Ah, shui, 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 shui. There you are. We're not even in there a second and we've already gotten people giving us water and coffee and all sorts. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. Ghana, Batra. Yeah, 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 yeah. He saw me trying to pull down my shorts. Yeah, did he? Yeah. yeah, he got Amy to cover up. That's because he saw her trying to pull down her shorts. It's a nice little town. Yes, I'm not wearing any underpants for hiking reasons. To keep things aerated down there and stop chafage. But it does mean that when I come into a town, I have to be a little bit careful when I sit down. I accidentally flash one of the locals. Get, get chased out of the town and stoned if I'm not careful. Cross my leg. I better cross my legs. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Grant. Your name? Just uh, Mohammed. Mohammed. Uh, we're Australia. Australia. Yeah, Australia. in London. London. London? Yeah. yeah. Spoken? Uh, no, no. Spoken? No. <laughs> yeah. Over okay. yeah. the stool? No. No, we have a No, no, no. no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Why? 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 No, 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 I don't know if you saw that, he won't Two take dinner? it. Two dinner? Yeah. Two dinner. Okay, good. <laughs> ah, okay. He took it, thank God. There you go, he got his £2.50. You can see what they're like. Normally they don't, because a lot of the time they just don't accept money. They just, they, 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 they run out to you and try and give you stuff. They just often just won't take anything back. Sorry. No, it's not top Yes, it's a tamarind. It's almost like a seed of nuts. It's sweet. Mm. Chocolate tamar. Oh, Thank chocolate you. with tamar? Oh, my bad. Oh, 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 okay. Mixed. Oh, mixed. Oh, okay. Mixed. Oh, okay. mixed. So that's why it's very good. good. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Yes. These gentlemen have been very hospitable. Here's your stuff. No, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> <Yes. Sure. laughs> <laughs> the coffee was yeah, actually working. banging. You liked it? Yeah. Sure. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Unbelievable. I said, really to them, I said to them like on the Google Translate, people are so friendly in this country and I think that's maybe something that we've lost a little bit in our countries in the West. And he was like, oh, thank you so much, really appreciate it. That gentleman back there that we're having coffee with is a policeman and uh, his friend, hello. hello, his friend was in a car accident, quite a serious one. He's got the shakes and he said he really banged his head. But what I was just saying to Amy is one thing you notice when you come here is not only are the roads poor, the people drive here a bit dangerously, like, but literally nobody wears a seatbelt to the extent that when you're in a taxi, sometimes you can't even get hold of the seatbelt. It's like wrapped behind the back of the chair. So yeah, it's not a surprise that, you know, we bumped into someone who's been in quite a serious car accident. We found the bread, the bread dispensary. A baker, otherwise known as a bakery. <laughs> my little trick, well, I don't know how much it is, just uh, show them a handful of change and go, pick your poison. Hello sir, can I get three? Three? Thank you. 
Syukran, ya. Yeah. Thank you, Syukran. For this giant bag of freshly cut, um, it's almost like a pizza dough. Um, I just paid about 60 pence, and they'll last us days. This like is this this dollar. is what we're putting the hummus on, fresh bread. And yeah, okay, fine, it goes stale, but it lasts a good two days before it gets kind of a bit painful. So, but, but basically, Frodo and Samwise. Gamji surviving, surviving off bloody Lambus bread. That's our Lambus bread. Hello, no, we've had coffee. No, okay. So now we just gotta track down this restaurant which should be up here somewhere. Another thing that you see everywhere in every Jordanian little town are the shisha shops where you have all the flavored uh, tobaccos and then all the shishas. <laughs> they're absolutely, they're absolutely nuts for it. They love it. And uh, when, when we were in Oman, we sat at the restaurant, and uh, I guess a 50-year-old lady with her two young daughters is sat there. And after her meal, she sits there and has a huge shisha sat next to us, puffing away on this pipe, sort of just, you know mulling things over in her mind. It's a really interesting atmosphere. This looks as good as any. Rest the restaurant. Tafila. Can we have two shawarma? Yeah, and one... Uh, like so the shawarma comes off the back of this thing here, I believe. Yeah, one box of like rice and chicken. <laughs> but now that we have our bread and now that we have our takeaway which we've got double so we can have summer food tonight and then we can have lunch tomorrow now we are in the chocolate store look at this place it's like charlie and the chocolate factory honestly i feel like breaking out into some kind of like charlie and the chocolate factory song what's good <laughs> lemon drops and orange drops and <laughs> sorry embarrassing sorry i'm embarrassing you <laughs> Uh, okay, well, we want stuff that's not going to melt, ideally. Yeah. Look at all the colours. That sweet's done. And now we're going to... Now we're going to go to the supermarket and get uh, tuna and uh, a couple extra bits. <laughs> We basically just need tuna. We just, we just leave our bags outside because we attract so much attention. No one can kind of nick our stuff. And it's kind of obvious like, that someone Everyone to knows, it. like if you just walk down the main street, that we're like white people. And th there's not many Jordanians wandering around with hiking stuff. So we just carry the sat nav, the GoPro, our phones, the money, and then nothing else really matters. Where are you from? Australia. 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 Like I love how he's smoking inside. <laughs> he's just in the, in the supermarket having a cigarette. <laughs> Wow, there's quite a few options. Yeah. So we've got mm. tuna with vegetable oil. I don't know if it's really bad for us, but the, the idea is that I can dip the bread in the oil and it just give us a bit of extra calories. But I don't know what kind of vegetable it is and if it's really bad for you, but needs must, unfortunately. So we're trying to figure out what we need because I think we need about three to four days. There yeah. might be a day where we can go to a restaurant. We've got five hummuses three tunas each, a load of bread, what else do we have? Two packets of crisps. Loads of snacks, loads of like sweet Loads things. of oats, jam to go with our oats. Jam. Raisins? We could do some with some oats. We put raisins in our oats. The problem is getting fresh fruit in this and, diet, but we're not we really worrying about bread. it because only for a few more weeks and then we can get back to eating a load of veg. If we could find apricots again, that'd be amazing. We had dried apricots before, so just a bit of extra fruit, you know, dry fruit. At least it's something. He's giving me, this is coffee. 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 Arabic coffee? Arabic coffee. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> it's it's, it's no, yellow. Okay. Do you want one? I'm okay. No? No, 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 thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no he's insisting. That's what I mean about hospitality in this Shukran. country. Everywhere you go. Coffee. Shukran. Arabic. Yes, uh, yeah. thank you. Shukran. <laughs> Shukran. Why is it white? <laughs> That's like no coffee I've ever seen. 
Hmm. Should I drink it then? Oh, yeah, it's all these faces. It's hot though. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I don't really like it. Maybe like maybe cardamom. It's boiling hot. It yeah. doesn't taste anything like coffee. It's like a tea color. It's really strange. Thank you, Shukran. The gentleman just offered us a taxi ride. Okay. And we were like, no mate, we're, we've learnt the word now, which is Al Mashi. You don't seem to understand Which means it, <laughs> walking. Yeah, they don't seem to quite understand it. It might be our pronunciation. Watch out. I'll show you back at camp. If you hear this noise, it's not ice cream. It's, it's not gas. Yeah, it's not ice cream, it's gas. <laughs> so they go around from house to house with the tune going so that people can come out and collect gas. Little kids in Jordan don't know what they're missing with that tune. Yeah. <laughs> the plan always when we come into these plant towns to stock up is to get far enough out of town now where we'll go unnoticed. So we need to put realistically like a good four or five kilometers between us and the town, you know, right out into the bush. Not because it's that, not just because it's dangerous, but also just because, um, we just don't want to be hassled in the evenings because we just want to like, you know, recover. The thing I'm really grateful about for this particular trip into town is that you're able to kind of really get a feel for the incredible hospi uh, hospitable nature of kind of Jordanian people. This one. Sorry, I missed that. This gentleman literally just stopped. As I was saying, they're so hospitable. They're incredibly kind natured people. And as I've said to you earlier, and as I said to some of the Jordanians, I think we've lost that a little bit. That sense of community. I mean, how often do you walk into a corner shop in the UK, Australia, or the US? And the guy at the counter as you're leaving is like, hey, do you want a coffee? You know, just on the house, pours it from his kettle. I mean, obviously in the West, we kind of see these horror stories about the Middle East. and. All we've experienced here is incredible hospitality, incredible kindness, and it's sad really that they're sort of painted with the same brush that the rest of the Middle East are, when really, you know, these people in Jordan at least are, you know, outgoing and, and all they want to do is encourage people to come here and to, you know, break bread with them essentially. Long bit of uh, gibberish there, but just some thoughts. So the plan is to traverse this mountain and get all the way down there and camp on this little hill in the valley. So viewers, as promised, I have laid out all our food that we are currently carrying for the next between three and four days. Um, we would normally carry this much main food in our bag, but we would not be carrying uh, takeaway food at all. So this is like our standard food that we carry. And I'll start with this. We've got in here those big breads, the big round ones all cut up. Uh, and then tuna, we carry six cans of tuna pretty much all the time because uh, they're high protein, gives you a lot of calories. And then we almost always carry these hummus, the little hummuses, they're only 135 grams. Each one has about 250 calories. We usually carry five of those. We very rarely finish those. Um, we usually get down to like two left. And then if you come over here, Amy, that's about a kilo and a half of porridge. We put a bit of jam in it for flavor, also emergency calories. And then we carry raisins, which we do as well on the porridge. As you remember, we do overnight oats, so we just soak that all in water. And then cheese isn't something we always carry, um, but we like to carry it just to make our evenings more interesting. Sometimes we'll have like bread and cheese for dinner sometimes. So that's also a dinner option. So yeah, the standard is the tuna, the hummus, the bread, the porridge. That goes everywhere with us and varies how much we carry, but generally we carry a lot of the tuna and a lot of the hummus. And then we have as a backup, the chicken noodles. The thing about chicken noodles is it needs to be done on a fire. And the problem with that is similar to the pasta, you're using a liter of water. And so we're trying to t use it and, and rather than like drain it like you would at home, we're turning it into kind of like a chicken soupy noodle thing. So that's that. And then they've also got just multivitamins. I won't open it, but it's just tablets of multivitamins. So that's that. That's our main sort of bulk food. And then fun part, and I carry all of that over there. I carry all the, the heavy food, the tins of tuna, the hummuses, the cheese. And then over here, Amy carries all the, all the snacks. So we've got the jellies, the little good, really good for a bit of sugar. 
Skittles. But again, normally we'd only carry like one or two packs, not five. <laughs> normally we're only, you know, we're only carrying enough for like two days max. Now we're carrying enough for like three, maybe even four days. So we've got a packet of biscuits, light, loads of calories, two packets of crisps. That goes nicely with our lunch, makes our lunch more interesting, more calories. And then we've got a load of chocolate. We don't carry too much chocolate anymore because it melts. So we try and stick more towards the gummy bear type, type things. And then and something that we've learned along the way is the powders that we put into our water. And so we got like apple, orange, lemon, mango. And these things weigh like nothing. Like I imagine a 10 grams, this one. So like nothing. This stuff is life. Honestly, it makes our life so much more interesting. Oh yeah. Flavor. Chemical flavor. It's berry. Oh, that's a good vintage. Is it actually good? It's nice. <laughs> Mozzie bites. Then we also have uh, oral rehydration salts. These taste absolutely disgusting. They're salty, they're gross, they're horrible. We try and put them in our mouth in one go and just put the powder in your mouth, swallow some water and just get it down you. That's to replace all the electrolytes that we're losing uh, in our sweat. Um, so, you know, it's got your sodiums, your potassiums, etc. So that's key. And we use those really on hot days when we've been sweating loads. Today, very uniquely, we've got chicken shawarma from the chicken shop. Me and Amy will probably share that. There's three in here, I think, or two in there. And then we've got the same again here tomorrow. Probably have that cold tomorrow um, for lunch. We try not to, obviously this stuff goes first when we're eating it because it's heavy uh, and obviously it goes off the fastest as well. So we try and get rid of the weight and move as quickly through the perishables and the weight. So we'll go through this first. And this is obviously chips in here. A big thing of rice. So again, we've got loads of food right now. We'll eat the shawarma wraps, we'll eat the chips tonight, then we'll have the rice tomorrow for lunch. Then we'll move over to this stuff, and then we'll probably eat the cheese first. And then, as you can imagine, like our diet just gets more and more boring until we end up just eating dry tuna on stale bread. <laughs> That's basically how it works. Does that make sense? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then water, we're carrying uh, our camelbacks, which are three liters. We've got those full, so we've got six liters. They actually carry a little bit more, so they're probably six and a half liters between the two of us, maybe even seven. And then we've got two, one and a half. But we'll generally get through about three liters um, in an afternoon and morning, because we need about half a liter of this to about a third of a bottle to do our porridge. And also, uh, we just have to rehydrate at the end of the day. And then we have three liters on us to hike that day. Um, but in this instance, we're basically essentially carrying another I guess you could say 24 hours worth of water. Sweet. A mm -hmm. lot of information to take in there. And one more final thing to mention about the takeaway is we would not be carrying this if it was not for the fact that we've just gone through the town towards the end of the day and the town is four kilometers from here, let's say. We, ne we never eat this much junk food, like ever. Um, but I think we're getting through, I estimate, maybe four, four and a half thousand calories easily. You know, if we're hiking, you know, eight hour, 10 hour days, you know, in this kind of terrain. Um, and we're finding that having a bit of sugar, I understand is sort of replacing glycogen in our body. So giving us, replenishing us. I heard a story about how Floyd Mayweather, the boxer, as soon as he's finishing sparring, he will actually go and down like a whole bottle of Pepsi. We've been finding as well that just getting some sugar into us is really helping us keep our energy up. Um, even though it's probably not the healthiest thing. And the other thing is we're just not getting enough fresh fruit. And that's the, hence the point why we're having the multivitamin. But the problem with fresh fruit is it's full of water and it's just too heavy. This is just the only way that we can carry enough calories in kind of non-perishable goods. Now I'm gonna enjoy the takeaway, the shawarma, another healthy meal, chips and kebab. <laughs> <laughs>